welcome back to Delectable You Recipes for Life. Today we are going to make something for your Thanksgiving table. It's coconut whipped cream. Yeah, I said it. Even if you don't like coconut or whipped cream or you're not vegan or gluten free, it doesn't matter because this recipe is so delicious and velvety and yummy. It adds an extra layer of flavor to anything. Pumpkin pie, pecan pie, apple pie, any of your puddings anything will do. And it's gonna take us about hmm, 60 seconds. So let me show you what to do. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a can of coconut milk. It is full of fat. Let's not be afraid of fat, people. Fat is good, good fat is good. Um, so full fat coconut milk, this has been in the freezer. It's actually, or not the freezer, the fridge. It's been in the fridge for a few weeks because I always have a can of coconut milk in the fridge for this reason. So I can pull it out and make coconut whipped cream whenever I feel like it. So why put it in the fridge? Well, because I want to separate the liquid from the solids. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna scoop out the solid part of the coconut milk and put it in my bowl fitted with a paddle attachment. If you don't have one of these stand up mixers, don't worry about it, just put it in a regular bowl and use a whisk or use a hand mixer. Okay. So, let's open up the can. Ugh. Okay, this unsuccessful opening of the can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you see that? That is solid, solid stuff, but it's liquid underneath. We don't want the liquid, we just want the solid. I'm gonna put that. There. I'm just gonna do a little bit of scraping. Oh, this is really hard. I think it was close to the freezer, but that's okay. So I'm gonna whip it out. Whip it good. Okay, so as you can see, I've separated the solid and there's liquid in the bottom of that. Now I got a little frozen in the fridge, so I put it too close to the freezer, but it doesn't matter. I still separated it. Now, with the liquid, you can throw the liquid away if you don't want it, but I like to keep it and put it in my shakes in the morning because I like good fat, and coconut is good fat. So do whatever you want with that liquid, but it does not belong in the whipped cream. Now, all we're gonna do is add literally a touch of vanilla, like we're talking maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon. Boop, not too much because you don't want it to be colored all brown. And then we're gonna sweeten it with just a little bit of maple syrup. Oh, love it, real maple syrup, remember? Real maple syrup. And a little touch of that, yeah. That's like a quarter of a teaspoon as well. If you like it sweeter, add more. If you don't, mm, add less. Or if you don't like it at all, don't add any. And now all we're gonna do is whip it. So that's gone for like 20 or 30 seconds. I'm just gonna scrape down the bowl and make sure we got everything. Now this isn't gonna whip up like regular whipped cream because um, it doesn't have all the milk fats in it. Um, we're just whipping it though so that it's nice and velvety because before you whip it, it's kind of a little crusty. But now it's velvety, so let's just whip it a little more. All right, that's it. That, that literally took us 60 seconds once we had everything in the bowl. Look at that, isn't that great? And it tastes so, so, so good. And now I'm not usually a fan of coconut, but I have to say I love coconut whipped cream. I don't even have a lit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So add this to your Thanksgiving table. Everybody's gonna love you. Serve it with your pumpkin pie or any of your pies or your puddings and even for those healthy people at your table, you can serve this with a bowl of berries and they will just love you for it. So, that's it. That's all. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your whipped cream. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Lauren with Delectable You and I hope to see you again next time.